Sam. Sam, it's Ave, your kinkologist, spilling a little tea, kink, and drama into your day. Y'all know how we do. Email me your kinky or drama-filled entanglements, and I get you right with my personal feedback and that of my tarot cards. Now, this is for mature adults only. If your wear still draws in a stiff shirt, this ain't for you. Nothing is too kinky or too crazy to discuss. And y'all know we run into the crazy damn near each episode. Remember, kink should always be legal and consensual. I don't care if your butt naked draped over somebody's lap getting spanked or wearing a dog collar and a diaper sucking somebody's toes. We're going to tap it all. For a slot on the show, hit me up at ave.kinkologist at gmail.com. Y'all ready for these emails? Let's get it. Guys, I am so excited. Today I am introducing a new card deck into the family. The Streets Are Talking, Volume 2, will be featured in today's show. I recently purchased them and did a private reading. And let me tell y'all, they are amazing, okay? For those of you who practice or excel in tarot, you'll want to check this deck out. And others by this card master, Tarot with the T on Esty. She has many decks, many different decks to choose from. I suggest you swing over to Esty and grab one or as many as you like from her. And now, let's get into it. Up first, we have, and I hope that I'm pronouncing her name correctly, Shave from Harlem. Ave. I am currently locked, loaded, and hunting a nigga down. Okay. I met this guy four months back. We've been chilling, hanging out. He seemed real cool, easy, laid back, my type of guy. We got into the habit of chilling, smoking, and eating hot wings on Friday's nights. Ave, we made it official a month ago. Girl, I am kicking myself right now. I should have been seen through his game. He was supposed to move in by now. He's there all the time anyway. He was here at the beginning of the month, so I gave him the money to take down to the landlord. My landlord has Square and allows you to swipe your card, and you'll get a receipt. It's convenient as hell. So after about an hour of him not returning, I went to my landlord. He says he ain't seen him. What? Girl, you know a bitch was hot. I ran back to my apartment and called my car. Why someone just withdrew $2,500 at the ATM? I called my bank and immediately canceled the card. I also put in a fraud claim for the withdrawal. Girl, I have been looking for this snake. He hasn't posted on his social media platforms since that day. I can't believe he took off with my rent money. What the hell? Hun, hun, not locked and loaded. Girl, I, girl, I, I feel your frustration through the damn email. I feel your frustrations. Don't mess with my coins, okay? Do not mess with my coins, okay? Girl, don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody. Breathe. Breathe. I'm hearing that you got the rent covered, but it's the principle of the thing. Honestly, I'm getting that you dodge a major bullet here. Dude isn't who he portrayed himself to be. And this isn't his first rodeo. Sis, he's not worth your freedom. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Lock, load it, put it down. He is not worth your freedom. I do say be cautious going forward. See, the representative is real. 
they can put on an act, and that act can last for quite a bit of time before the real them is exposed. I want you to think back. During the relationship, were there any red flags, anything or any time that you doubted what he was saying or doing? Anytime you simply looked at him sideways with a questioning look, bookmark those moments in your mind. Those are references for the next person that comes into your life. From jump, you're going to be on the lookout for those flags. Honey, at this point, release and let go of this fool. Release and let go. ATMs have cameras, so this is already done. Let's take it to the cards. The first card says friendship. And see, this is what I'm saying. Remember, these cards have several different meanings. But what I'm getting with this is, you said you stated in the beginning that y'all was chilling, y'all was hanging out, everything was cool. And see, you gotta, you have to be cautious of any kind of friendship, relationship, anything like that that you step into. Because most friendships, as we know, take quite a while to really establish. And it's the same thing with relationships. Sometimes you do meet a person and it happens just like that. But on the most, it takes a little time. And you have to be a little leery when you go into this stuff. You have to. You got to give, give it a t enough time to actually fester and grow. Because if you don't and you just kind of rush into something head on you'll see that it's it's not really going to last. And what it'll do is it'll kind of deter you, if you will, from getting into another relationship or what you're going to do is start pitting the next person towards the sad situations that the other person uh, took you through. So you really don't want to do that. You want to really, you know, give it some time. Give it some time and check things out. Try not to go too fast into something, okay? The next card says, psychics, seeking psychics. And see, this is what I'm saying. Right now, I'm hearing, and I'm hearing that. I'm getting that, that you have been trying to find this guy. You even came onto this show hoping that maybe he'll hear it or somebody that knows it will hear us talking about this. I also hear, and I'm getting that, that you've done, I'm not sure if it's a Ouija board, I'm, I'm seeing some kind of board, um, getting some kind of cards. So I'm hearing that on your own, you have been seeking otherworldly ways of finding him. You want to let that go. Okay, you want to let that go. As I said, release and relax. Breathe. Let the whole situation go because the one thing, and I can promise you this, ATMs have cameras. There's no way, none, that he's going to get away with this legally. It's just a matter of time. And that's what I'm picking up. It is a matter of time. This is already done. Already done. Don't even keep putting yourself through it. I understand that you feel some type of way. I know I would have been mad as hell if somebody had messed with my coins. So I can, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. But do not waste extra energy into trying to find this man anymore. Don't do it to yourself. The next card says, cast burdens aside. And that's what I'm saying. You can't go forward, sis. Since you can't move forward, you're so busy into this, and this didn't happen. Excuse me, let me let me let you guys know this didn't happen this month, okay? Remember, people send me these emails. I sift through them and pick the ones for the show. So I have a ton of emails that were already sent, okay? So we're talking months ago, but I'm I'm still picking up that you're still looking for this person, and I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Relax, release. Do not do it. Let it go. Let it go. This is already done. I promise you. Let it go. Don't look no further. 
okay? Up next, we have Danella from New Jersey. Ave, I'm a girly girl. I love beautiful things. Clothes, shoes, bags, jewelry, etc. My guy is good with giving me gifts. He especially buys me lingerie. We both love it. I love wearing and modeling it for him, and he loves peeling it off of me. My man did a bid and has a nice-ass body. I love watching him flex his muscles and exercise. Ave, imagine my shock when I came home early from work, only to find him standing in front of the mirror with a pair of my lace thongs and my heels on. He was doing arm curls. I thought it was funny at first, but then I thought on it. There was no one else at the house. So who was he being a comedian for? I let it slide, but then it happened again and again. Now I'm wondering what's really going on. I confronted him and he told me to chill, that he was just checking out his sexy. Is this really a thing? I'm beginning to think there's more going on here. Ave, am I wrong to suspect? Hun, you're right to suspect. If he's never done anything like this before, then yes, I'd be suspicious too. Now with that said, I have some questions. First, I would like to know how long y'all have been together. Did he do this bid when y'all were together or before y'all met? I honestly never heard of straight guys doing this unless it was for a teasing, you know, a teasing uh, factor. The fact that you have tried to talk to him and there wasn't a straight answer given, that kind of concerns me some. I would try to talk to him one more time. If he's still evasive, then you have some decisions to make. If this is bothering you to the point that it's causing strife between y'all, then you have to decide whether to go or to stay. I'm getting that there's a little bit more going on here. I'm getting twin, like twin flame, like mirror, like two halves of a whole. Let's see what the cards have to say. The first card says unity. See, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's something more going on here. There's some, I'm, I'm getting that. I'm not sure why I'm getting that two halves of a whole, but it's, it's like a mirror, like a mirror effect. You understand? So let's say if you stood in the mirror, you would see your reflection in the mirror. You see what I'm saying? So in reality, that's two, two, you're seeing two. Because you're you, the original, and then that reflection you're seeing in the mirror. There is something going on here. There's something definitely going on here. Um, I don't think he's being completely honest. I think the fact that he's pushing you aside, if you will, or brushing you off, whenever you come to him with this, there's something going on there. And I feel that it's really, really bothering you. You're really uneasy with it. And... At this point, it is causing problems in the relationship. You're having doubts. You're wondering if he's gay. You're wondering if he's bi. Is he on the down low? And I can't really say that because I'm I'm getting that mirror and then there's like a lot of murkiness. So the things are unclear. The second card says, unbothered. See, and that's what I'm saying. The fact that he's he's unbothered. He's not listening to you. He's not really responding to you when you're talking to him. And and that evasiveness. See, that's telling me that, that he's hiding. He's hiding something because he's not talking to you. He's not uh, giving you the answers that you're seeking. And he's basically really brushing you off about this whole thing. But nobody does that. No street person a uh, straight guy at that is going to be wearing lingerie and high heels around the house, even though they're flexing their muscles and stuff. But that's not just something that straight guys just do on every day. So there's something more to that. And yeah, I am picking up a little bit of conceitedness on his end. 
But there's even still more. Because that murkiness and then that, that twin, that mirror, and I keep getting that. And like I said, that's two halves of a whole. So it's like two personalities, like two people. But all one and the same in the same body. You see what I'm saying? Two and one, but a split. So that's what I'm getting. And uh, it's, it's very unclear. The fact that he's not being honest with you, I just... If it's bothering you to the point that y'all can't move on, then, then you have to do what you have to do. The last card says, clear away distractions. And see, that's what I'm saying. If it's to the point that it's causing y'all strife that you cannot, you can't put up with it, you can't deal with it. It's making you look at him sideways. It's making you not really want to touch him or be bothered with him. Then you've got some decisions to make. I'm going to try to talk to him again. Honestly, wait till he's in a good mood. Try to talk to him. And if this continues and you feel you can't continue with it, then you've got some decisions to make. Okay. Up next is Tanya from Philly. Ave, I'm 23 and I'm living with my mom. My mom looks pretty good for her age. She had me in her mid-20s. I have no issues with my mom dating. She's a full-grown woman with needs. I get that. What I can't stomach is the barely 20-year-old thug she's brought home. This guy doesn't work. He eats our food, watch our cable, and bitch. Mom acts as if she doesn't see what's going on. Mom and I both work. When mom comes home, he uses her car. And when he can't, he expects, expects to use mine. I pay rent in a car note. Why should I give him my car? Mom says I'm making things difficult. Ave, am I wrong for feeling some type of way? Mom has lost her mind with this man child. I am staying there while I'm finishing school. I can't afford a decent place by myself right now. To make matters worse, dude has been shooting me looks. I told him he's barking up the wrong tree. I like chicks too. I would tell my mom, but everything that comes out of his mouth is golden. Any advice, Ave? Girl, since I feel you, man child, oh, hell no. Hell no. I'm not even touching the fact that you say he's barely 20. With you being 23, that means your mom has to be in the mid to late 40s. You said she had you in her 20s. For me, it's a no. I, I'm sorry. For me, it, it's just a definite, definite no. I'm not taking care of nobody's man boy, okay? No ma'am, no ma'am. Times are hard and I just don't condone that shit. As far as the car, the, 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 where'd he do that? That is some real crazy shit. Now, if your mother wants to give up her ride, why should you have to give up yours to her man or man child thingy? I, I have no words. I, I have no freaking words on that. I, I, I don't know where they do that. I really don't. Hon, I know things are tough, but you need to make your exit plan as soon as possible. Do you, do you hear me? Underline that. As soon as possible. Situations like these rarely end up on a positive note. The longer you stay, things are going to come to a boil you and it's not going to be pretty. You're right in not bringing it to your mother. I feel it will only drive a wedge between y'all. Until you can move, try to not be there as much as possible. Send me an email and I'll do a private reading for you for more clarity, okay? Send me that email as soon as you hear this show. Or better yet, I'm going to email you. Let's take it to the cards. The first card says, struggling relationship. And see, this is what I'm saying. This situation is causing strife between you and your mom. Okay, your best bet is exit plan. I understand times are tight. I understand cash flow is not what it needs to be. 
But at this point, I'd get me a room. Uh, see if any um, of your friends are looking for a roommate. Uh, I wouldn't go roommate with no strangers, but you've got to try something. In your area, some of these uh, hotels have like extended stay. Like you've got to try something. Because at this point, it's, it's really about to come to a head. I'm getting that. It's really, really about to come to a head. There's a lot going on in that house. This man-child thingy or whatever, it's just off the damn rails. Your mom, I, I bless her. I, I just don't know what to say. You know, uh, a lot of times women get caught up with these men, and I don't know for fear of being alone or whatever it is, you know, put it on her or whatever. I, I really don't know, but it's not going to do you any good to bring this to her. You were very right in that. Um, as far as you having to give up your car, that's, that's just, that's fucking cartoon. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know where they do that at. Uh, no, no. And then you say he's looking like this, this guy's just, he's a straight up clown. He's <laughs> straight up clown. Like really, you need to get out of there as soon as possible. And that's what I'm really picking up. The next card says unexpected money. So I'm feel I'm hearing that. I'm picking that up. You, you've got something coming your way. I don't know what it is, but there is some type of monetary aid that's about to come your way. If it hasn't already come. Because again, like I said, these emails, I pick them up out of the plenty that I have. So if you haven't received, you've got something coming your way. But let's not just wait on that. Okay. Let's not just wait on that. You've got to make that exit plan. You've got to get the heck out of there. You've got to. The next card says vulnerable. And see, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're in a very tough spot right now living at that house. All that crap that's going on. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing that there's a little violence going on. I'm hearing that there's been some situations between him and your mom. And you've had to get into the middle of it. So you 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 got to get out of there. You got to get out of there because there's nothing that you can do. If she's not willing to see things for what it is, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You need to get out because there's no need of you and this guy button heads, something happening, you wind up going to jail, and then what, they still sitting there at the house? No, absolutely not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You need to remove yourself from this situation as soon as possible, okay? Hit me back. Let me know what happens. Up next is Tony from Florida. I make no excuse for my actions. In the late 1990s, I had a run-in with my brother's wife. He was in the service and only came home periodically. His wife and I had these encounters three or four times at most before we decided to, to end it. Several months later, she announced she's pregnant. Now my brother has been home on leave several times during those early months. By right, either one of us could be the father. My brother got discharged before the baby was born and I fell back. I was happy to be the uncle. That was until my brother passed three years ago. I look at my niece and can't help but to wonder if she's my daughter. Our family traits are strong, so we all resemble. As I'm getting older, I wonder about it more and more. She's pregnant now. I wonder if this will be my only chance as a grandfather, as I have no kids outside of this maybe. If that is my grandchild, I want to be there for them. So I say something, excuse me, should I say something or settle for the loving uncle that I've been all these years? My heart is heavy. And this, you know, honestly, when I read this, I was, I, I could feel the sadness. I could feel the sadness. I could feel the longing. I could feel all of these things. 
But sugar, I honestly can't give you absolution for this. We all do wrong. We all do wrong. And it's good of you that you can admit and acknowledge yours. We all have our skeletons. And this, there's a lot at stake. Not only would you and the mother have to come clean, but tests will have to be done. This is a can of hurt that once open, it's going to be damn hard to close. Say you take the test and you're not the father. All of this would have come out for nothing and the daughter would be hurt knowing this. I honestly, I honestly see that in this Hurt, hurt is inevitable. It's inevitable. It's no way that you can, that you can shave it off. You have to make a choice if you can live as you have been living. And if you can't, if you can't, then you know what must be done. If this is bothering you down to your soul that you just can't let it go, then only you can make that decision whether you truly want to open that can because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you once it's open it'll get worse before it get better I can tell you that there's a lot of hurt that's going to be there a lot I mean I know that basically coming clean it helps to wash away those dirty things that we're hiding you know, it, it lifts a burden off our shoulders. But in some situations, you have to really think it all through. Look at it from both sides of the coin. Okay, if I reveal, yeah, I, I'll be in my daughter's life. I'll be in my grandbaby's life. I could help more. If something happened to me, they could get my social security. Right now, I'm feeling that she's, and I'm hearing that she's getting her, the other father, like there's so much that this 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 reveal right here is sitting on like a rock, a, a peak a peak a, a pointed rock the pointed part of a of a, a pyramid if you will and there's a rock just kind of teetering at that point and I, I don't know I'm just letting you know if if you do tell this you have to be prepared prepare yourself. That even if you tell it, it may not come out as you as you want. Because there could be so much hurt there, whatever. You got to understand, this is somebody's whole life. And now they're being told that it wasn't what they thought. All the memories, all the, you understand, uh, birthday situations. So, with this, this is definitely something that you have to walk into with a clear mind. I suggest pray on it, get into a room by yourself and really, really think on this. And if it's something that you just have to get off your shoulders, off your chest, then you have to, you have to do what you have to do. But I am warning you that this is something that's going to cause a lot of hurt. I promise you that. Let's take it to the cards. The first card says communication and that's exactly what I'm saying if you decide to go into this and you you have to go with a clear head you you've got to armor yourself you got to know that it's going to get worse before it gets better okay so you have to decide what you want to do here is it worth really opening that can and letting all of this out You have to make that decision. The next card says twin flame. And see, that this, this is what I was saying. When you get that twin flame card, it's, it's something like, again, the two halves of the whole, uh, two situations going on. And with this, that's what I'm telling you. You could, it could go your way. It can't, just what I was saying. Remember, I just said it. The rock on top of the peak of the pyramid. And it's just teetering. Which means you got two, two sides. Two sides. It could go in your favor. And maybe it won't go in your favor. 
you push that rock and it's going to fall on one side or the other. But listen to me. You must be prepared. Either way. Either way it falls. Positive or negative. The next card says truth. And see, this is your truth. It's all your truth. And if you're going to expose that, you've got to be prepared. You've got to be prepared to deal with the, the fallout. So again, what you need to do is have a self-cleansing. You want to get in a room. You want to just be quiet, be still. Really think about all this stuff. Think about the pros. Think about the cons. And figure out what you want to do. What I would do is a self-cleansing. I would go ahead and get you some type of laxative. Take that. I would fast. I don't know if you're able to fast. I would say try your best not to eat until about 5 o'clock. Give yourself one day. One day of fasting, one day of cleansing. Try to clean yourself out. Try not to eat till about 5 o'clock. What you will eat will be vegetable, fruits, all things that is more natural, okay? I don't want you to have no fried foods or anything that has a whole lot of salts and ingredients and things of that nature. If you're going to have salad, try to have something that have more of a vegan uh, dressing or something of that nature. I want you to drink a lot of water that day. Before you start your actual uh, going into that mode of meditation. And if you've never meditated, don't be scared of it. All you need to do is get into a quiet place and just really think. Let, let all that stuff go. Everything that's in your mind, rent, bills, health, let all of that go. Try to let all of that go. And just picture something nice and calm. A lot of people picture the ocean. Picture something nice and calm. And just sit there and really think for as long as you can, a couple of hours. Once you come out of that, you should have that clarity. Also, you might want to burn some incense while you're doing that. Or either if you have some scented candles. Those are always nice effects for when you're meditating. But you need to do it completely alone. Okay? I want you to try these things. Hit me back. Email me. Before you make any moves, we'll do a reading, a private reading, okay? And now, final thoughts. Loves, loves, loves. You got to be careful out there. Stick with those who rock with you, not rock you. Because if you have to come out of character and hunt a fool down, they definitely are not the one for you. Folks playing with people's coins better watch out. Coins are too damn hard to come by today. And for a fool to be scheming, uh -uh. remember everyone has that sixth sense within them. Everyone has that. Rarely will it lead you astray. If something is constantly bothering you, there's a reason for that. The old saying is, what's done in the dark will come out in the light. And it's true. Situations we often wish to stay buried may very well resurface. How you deal with it determines the overall outcome. If someone does you wrong in a relationship, you don't owe them anything should they decide to resurface. Messy situations are just that, messy. Don't add more to the bowl if there's no need for it. With that said, if you have a bizarre situation or simply some drama and need to give voice to it, I'll take that on. No subject is too taboo to discuss. Whatever you enter, just be careful. And as always, Play safe in your kink. Until next time, and as always, keep it kinky. 
Guys, we are growing. Guys, in the coming weeks, we will be undergoing a cosmetic change as the show has opened to all areas of kink, drama, and good old-fashioned tea. I want to thank everybody that writes in. Keep them coming. Hit that subscribe button and join the fam.